first and foremost, Stacking Days has been an exercise in vulnerability for me. For anyone who knows me personally, knows that I am an extremely um, private person. Leading up to Stacking Days, you would never even find me on, you never find me on social media. Uh, I was, uh, I was always, you know, one to keep things close to the vest. And that wasn't just because, you know, I was, I was, you know, drinking and had a questionable relationship and, you know, maybe didn't feel comfortable sharing certain things. It's just that naturally I had always categorized myself as an introvert. Um, and even past being an introvert, I was always an extremely private person. So I was very good at compartmentalizing aspects of my life. And what stacking days es essentially did was it, it, for me, it blew the lid off of it. Not only did it blow the lid off of, uh, my, my relationship with alcohol, in a very public way, but it blew the lid off of, you know, and I mentioned this a few episodes back, it blew the lid off of my, my propensity to, to, you know, to, to remove myself from the spotlight. So this was both, you know, vulnerability, you know, personally, um, and exposure of my personal life. But, you know, for many people who have questionable relationships with alcohol, they tend to keep things pretty secret and hidden and from themselves and from others. And this podcast was my version of, you know, ripping off that Band-Aid um, that I was using to cover up what could have been, you know, a fatal wound, um, ultimately, uh, if I continue to, to to have it go unchecked. But, I mean, I, I quite literally, like, jumped into podcasting um, <laughs> almost, you know, similar to how I, I jumped into uh, into sobriety. I didn't know a lot about it. Um, I had to learn a set of tools and skills along the way. I've had to find aspects of the project that I enjoyed so much so that it 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 over it it overshadowed uh, my kind of tendency to 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 not want to step into it. So there were a lot of similarities with my sobriety journey, but ultimately um, it's given me an opportunity to connect with some of the strongest and some of the most courageous people that I have ever had the privilege of speaking with. Um, there are individuals while, you know, the guests that there have been individuals that, you know, even though we've, we've had a lot of shared similar experiences with substances and our place in society, um, I feel as though that the thing that's unique is that even within that, you know, everyone has their own differentiated, uh, experience in how they've, you know, pushed through their challenges. And, you know, and for me to see how people have slain, you know, the, the dragons in their lives, uh, has been nothing but extremely encouraging. So, you know, even though I walked into podcasting very much, um, very much virgin and very much new, uh, it gave me a sense of empowerment just by being able to have conversations, you know, up until this point with you know, some pretty special people. 